This is non-calculator question number 18 from the March 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a system of equations and says if xy is the solution to the system, what's the value of 100x plus 40y, which is an odd combination. College Board typically asks you six systems of equations questions on the SAT, so you want to put a lot of time into preparing for this and reviewing all your system skills, maybe even develop new skills. One quirk with College Board is when they ask you for odd combinations, often there's a shortcut trick. I noticed that 140 are both multiples of 20. That's 20 times 5x plus 2y. And the shortcut trick you often find is what they're asking for is a linear combination you obtain if you directly add these equations. So adding these, 2x plus 3x is 5x, 3y minus y, is 2y. So this is in fact 5x plus 2y if I left, add the left hand sides. If I add the right hand sides, I get 61. So 20 times 5x plus 2y is 20 times 61. 20 times 60 is 1200. 20 times 1 is 20, so that's 1220 would be the number I grid in. Now, seeing something like that requires looking for one of their favorite tricks rather than the math skills that you're more likely to use in your future. So let's do some real math also. One option I have here is linear combination. If I keep my first equation, 2x plus 3y equals 31, and I multiply my second equation times 3, that will give me 9x minus 3y I chose times 3 because negative 3y, if I add it to positive 3y, gives me 0y. Equals 30 times 3 is 90. Be careful that you multiply each term by the constant. We often forget to multiply, for example, the right-hand side by 3. Adding these two equations, 2x plus 9x is 11x, 3y minus 3y is 0y, 90 plus 31 is 121. Divide both sides by 11 to solve for x x equals 11. Now that I have x, I can solve for y in either equation. 3x is 3 times 11 minus y equals 30. 33 minus y equals 30. Subtract 33 from both sides. Negative y equals 30 minus 33 is negative 3, so y equals 3. With systems, I'll almost always substitute my answer into the equation I did not already use to make sure it works there also to check for careless errors. So twice x is twice 11, plus 3 times y is 3 times 3. That is 2 times 11 is 22, plus 9, and that is 31. So it checks. x equals 11, y equals 3 is correct. And now I want 100x plus 40y, which is 100 times 11 plus 40 times 3. 100 times 11 is 1100. 40 times 3 is 120. Adding, because they wanted 100x plus 40y, that is 1220, which is the same answer I got with the trick. But this is using math that you can consistently expect to have work. Anytime you see something quirky in the linear combination of x and y for a system of equations, Take a few seconds to check if the shortcut works, but if not, use your favorite method for solving systems of equations. College Boards asks a very large number of these questions. I have a long playlist with samples of other SAT questions, and I'll post a link to that below in the comments. Come back soon for my next math video, with math there's always more.